The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs is reporting a continued decline in active cases associated with the fourth wave of the COVID pandemic in St. Lucia. Active cases at October 28, 2021 had dropped to 350 cases. The ministry is also noting a steady decline in the rate of transmission. Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs Honorable Moses Jabatiste says the improved outlook has led to the phased face-to-face -face opening of school. Honorable Jabatiste, however, says St. Lucia is still at a critical stage in its fight against the fourth wave of COVID. As the festive season approaches, Honorable Jabatiste is imploring the public not to let its guard down. We are not unmindful of the desire of all St. Lucians, especially our business persons, to get a little relief from the protocols. Every meeting of the COVID-19 Management Center and the Cabinet is dominated by discussions about how we might do this. And every discussion ends with the painful conclusion that premature relief would lead to long-term damage to our society and our economy. There is consensus, however, that going forward, we should provide as much predictability in the protocols as is possible to allow our citizens and business persons to plan their affairs. In that regard, the COVID-19 Management Center and the Cabinet of Ministers have decided on new protocols for the month of November rather than a two-week period. The protocols will commence on Monday, November 1, 2021 and end on Tuesday, November 30, 2021. The hours of confinement have been adjusted from 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. weekdays to 10 p.m. ending at 4 a.m. Mondays to Fridays. Confinement on weekends will be as follows. On Saturday, November 6 and Saturday, November 13, 2021, Confinement will start at 10 p.m. and end at 4 a.m. on the following Monday. On Sunday, November 21st and Sunday, November 28th, 2021, confinement will start from 1 p.m. each day until 4 a.m. the following Monday. I repeat, on Sunday, November 21st and Sunday, November 28th, 2021, Confinement will start from 1 p.m. each day until 4 a.m. the following Monday. 3. On Sunday, November 7th and Sunday, November 14th, a person may attend a religious ceremony during confinement but must return to his or her residence by 1 p.m. on that day. 4. A person may host or attend a social event with 50 or less fully vaccinated persons. An application must be made to an approval must be granted by the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs. 5. Religious ceremonies are allowed based on the square footage of the organization in keeping with approved COVID-19 response plan. Special religious rites, including weddings, baptisms, and funerals, are permitted with 100 or less persons. 6. An approved bar with a valid liquor license is permitted to operate from 10 a.m. until closure of business to fully vaccinated persons only. Dining services at approved restaurants and food establishments are allowed to fully vaccinated patrons only. Takeaway, grab and go and delivery services will be permitted at other establishments. All educational institutions may open for face-to-face -face engagement to facilitate structured supervision from November 8, 2021. The Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training will communicate the confirmed dates to the public. Minister Jabati says officials will continue to monitor the trends during this period and the protocols will be reviewed in relation to the festive season in December. The ban